Oh, it hey, looks like hey. I'm signing documents for parliament. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't say stop. Uh, <laughs> Mama, thank you so much for supporting the Embrace Dignity campaign against sex trafficking. Why do you support this campaign? Well, first and foremost, because I know trafficking mainly is the target are women and girl children. Um, and being a mother and also a past teacher, I have a lot of children and a lot of grandchildren, granddaughters. So um, it touches me, you know, rather personally to think that one day somebody might use my granddaughter or one of the beautiful children I used to teach uh, to, uh, and use them for that. I don't think that the greater majority of women who agree to prostitution know beforehand that this is what they would like to do in life. And they are forced by circumstances. And because we as women are so vulnerable, particularly black women, we are the poorest, we are the least educated, we are the ones that, you know, have to fend for children when the fathers dump us. So I am particularly concerned for that reason that none of the, these people I have mentioned should be abused. I would say to the visitors and to South Africans on the whole, we as women are vulnerable. I know we have made some strides, but the greater majority of us are still third world women with no jobs, dependent on a man for your life, and therefore an easy target to abuse. So please look out. Those women out there are your mothers, they are your sisters, they are your daughters. Treat them with respect. It doesn't matter whether they are educated or not educated, whether they are rich or poor, but they are women who bring up the nation and uphold the nation. I would wish, uh, once I get the chance, to say to the Bafana Bafana, we are all there with you as our sons. We are proud mothers, proud sisters, proud supporters, proud aunts, and I Sure, proud uncles as well. Go for it, boys. Bring the cup home. Bring the cup home, <laughs> right? <laughs>